first of all, I want to be on record saying everybody on Chani Chat is doing what they shouldn't be doing. And I'm going to stay going on there and telling people how it is till I get banned, trying to save some souls. Because there's a lot of sluts on there, and there's a lot of pedophiles. And it disturbs me a lot how they mix in the, they, they call rooms, oh, 14 plus, 17 plus. They're like trying to trap the pedophiles and good people and turn them into pedophiles by having a bunch of borderline sluts or 17, 16 year old sluts doing 360s and showing off their tits and whatnot. So we're going to crash down on them. We're going to crash down on the Asians for lying. You know, I got nothing against Asians. I used to like an Asian girl named uh, Kimmy. Um, her last name starts with L, but I'm not going to say it on this because, uh, you know what I'm saying, I have respect and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? It's like motherfucking, I'm like a black guy in, when the German, the Berlin Wall was there, right? You know what I'm saying? You got the motherfucking scumbags on one side. You got the fucking commies and shit. Look, these motherfuckers don't care about you. You understand me? All over these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to tell you like this. Whether you're talking about fucking uh, Sneferu and them, you know what I'm saying? Khufu and Cheops and the Pyramids. Or you're talking about... Uh, the Stonehenge and Megalith, or you're talking about the Hanging Gardens, or you're talking about um, the Great Wall of China, and speaking of China, what are we talking about? We're talking about how the wall was built, its construction, the construction of Kung Fu, the status of Kung Fu. You're telling me that in the temple of fucking Sekhmet that they didn't do motherfucking tiger style, okay? And you're telling me in the temple of motherfucking uh, uh, Apop, excuse me, Apep, that they didn't do motherfucking uh, snake style. Dragon style. You see what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter what we're talking about here. You know what I'm saying? Whether we're talking about the crane or whether we're talking about uh, the hawk, you know what I'm saying, which is one of the styles of Kung Fu as well. There's the, there's the eagle claw. There's the, you know what I'm saying, there's the eagle eagle claw Kung Fu. And there's the Wing Chun. You know what I'm saying? There's the different different uh, sections of Kung Fu as well. You know what I'm saying? There's the different monks and lamas that, that practice it. And so whether we're talking about uh, Heru and the Temple of Eid Fu and fighting arts of Heru, or we're talking about the fighting arts of, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, of the, the Temple of Set and the His Coast, you understand me, and the Delta region, so, what really going on here is, is the, the moon guys came in, you know what I'm saying, the moon guys came into Egypt, they started fighting with the Sun Temple, the Sun Temple kicked them out, right, and the Sun Temple started evolving, who kicked them out, the 18th Dynasty, and what did the 18th Dynasty do, the 18th Dynasty, which influenced our history so much, they started wilding out, uh, 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 Akhenaten went to motherfucking El Armana, built a new fucking um, whole city there, dedicated to Aten, the sun. That's why his name's Akhenaten, because he's part of the Aten. He's Amenhotep the fourth, and he changed his name. So he said he went from the Amen be pleased to saying, "Hey, I'm gonna put it out there. You know what I'm saying? And give me my credit." Just like uh, um, Lucifer refused to bow down and started going crazy with the sun. He's the angel of the light, etc. So when you really understand what's going on here and and the battles between the sun temple and the battles of the sun temple and the moon temple and isis ra and el the canaanite moon god and how it links in to the the moon gods that was worshipped um by the muslims as well and how it links into the tribes of saudi arabia and and the persian conquest of egypt and how it links into the Assyrian conquest the turkish conquest osman the first the ottomans and how it links into all the Ghazi tribes the assassins the hashishans all these motherfuckers man what the fuck are we talking about here we're talking about secret societies we're talking about emirates we're talking about caliphs we're talking about hymns epithets parables songs spells we are talking about motherfucking ancient poetry we are talking about the evolution of the 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 written word from the 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 structural definition of inherent symbols and patterns in nature and hand gestures which reference patterns in nature which refer to the earliest constructions of language systems and the people who who came up with the papyrus for paper to write things down and and who came up with the salt tray you have to understand my brother that i don't mean these cultures any disrespect you know what i'm saying i have the highest of respect for the asians who 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 perfected the war arts and gave us kung fu from the shao she forced and they were using brooms and making the broom staff. They knew how to hide their martial arts and their martial art weapons, just like the Angolans who would teach the Native Americans who are closer to the Asiatic Japheth family tree. 
you have to understand the Mongoloids and the migrations of the Mongoloid people, the migrations of the Caucasoid people, the Mon migrations of the Kenyans and of the Africans and the, the evolution of man. You have to understand that my argument has been the same since a little kid. It took but one simple glance at Egypt to know those are my ancestors, that is African, that is African style, that is African art, that is African tribal warfare, that is African thinking. We are the people who grow up with the desire to wrestle and fight with people and roughhouse with people and our natural state in poverty is a higher level of violence, I would dare say, than other races because of our inherent tribal warrior nature which is exemplified by Nimrod being the great hunter in the Bible of the ancient period. And who did Nimrod descend from? Look, we're not talking about Gomer and, and Lud and Asher. Okay? We are talk, not talking about Javan and Madai. We are not talking about Gog and Magog. Who were the descendants of Shem? Who were the descendants of Ham? Ham, you had Puts, Miserum, Canaan, the Philistines, the Amorites, and the Hittites, all the way up to Turkey, where Paul went. So why does the trail of Christianity and its spread mimic the migration of the descendants of Ham? Because Ham got Israel, the Canaanites got Canaan, and Ham got until God gave the Canaanite land away. You have to understand it goes back to Jacob and Esau, and how Jacob tricked Esau into giving him his inheritance, and then Jacob would change his name to Israel. And the descendants of the Canaanites would be in captivity like the descendants of the Edomites to the Israelites. So who are the descendants of Jacob? Well, he had his wives, his four wives, Rachel, Bilah, Zippah, and Leah. Remember Princess fucking Leah from Star Wars? My ancestor, Leah, Judah. Now, who were the 12 tribes? Gad, Asher, Reuben, Simon, Levi, Ishakur, Judah, Zebulun, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Dan. Who are the Ebos? Naphtali, Gad, Judah, Judah, Dan. Okay, now who migrated? Who migrated with the scepter promises? And who migrated through Joseph with the birthright promises? When you get Manasseh, remember you get uh, Josiah, you get the half tribe of Manasseh. Where did that come from? It came from Joseph and Aseneth. Okay? So you have the migration of people and you have the biblical charts of how the bloodline passed down. You have the pyramid text. You have the archaeological evidence. You have the new evidence in the news of the fossil. So, so, where were the Europeans? The farthest they got, the closest they got, was the Mediterranean Sea. But where were they in the Mediterranean Sea? In Cyprus, Malta, Crete, the Greeks, Joktan, okay? The descendants of Japheth ended up in Central Asia and Western Europe. The descendants of Shem ended up in Saudi Arabia, in Iraq, and in Syria. Until later on, obviously, the Europeans would invade Syria and it would become, you know, later on through history. This We're talking about the descendants of Noah, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, and their descendants. So, what does this tell us about the ancient Egyptians? That the only people in the surrounding area were Ham and Shem. All the way to Central Asia. All the way to Cyprus. Um, you know, whether you're talking about the Mediterranean Sea, uh, on the northern Mediterranean, or you're talking about the Middle East, and the mountains in the Middle East. So they're over there in the fucking mountains, 
why everything's playing out. What's playing out? Well, you had a migration from Iraq and Babylon, where you had Arphaxad and Bam, the Persians, all these guys, and in the mountains you had the, 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 the Medi guys, and then you had the Assyrians and the Aryans. They invade Babylon, right? Now think about it. What happened before that? And what changed it? Okay, now I'm out of time, so I'm going to end it right there. But what basically happened is that the descendants of Ham and Shem, they mixed together. Because history told us that until 525, the white guys didn't come in while the descendants of Ham and Shem are mixing together. So who are the Hiskos? The Hiskos are the descendants of Shem who were killed in captivity in Egypt with the Nubians and came back out to and mi migrated up following the, the old trail of the Hamites. Thank you. Bye.